In this question, the second term of a geometric sequence is 6, and the fifth term is minus 48, and we're asked to find the tenth term. Now then, to find the tenth term, we will find the first term and the ratio first for the geometric sequence. Now we know that a n equals a times r to the power of n minus 1 is the general formula for the nth term in a geometric sequence. So the second term is 6, so 6 equals a times r to the power of 2 minus 1, which equals 1, and minus 48 equals a times r to the power of 5 minus 1, which equals 4. So these are my two formulae, or my two equations. I'm going to rewrite these the other way around. So minus 48 equals a r to the power of 4, and 6 equals a times r. And I'm now going to divide the top equation by the bottom equation. So minus 48 divided by 6 is minus 8. However, a over a cancel out. And r to the power of 4 divided by r is r cubed. So r cubed equals minus 8. This means that r equals the cube root of minus 8, which is minus 2. And because we know that 6 equals a times r, and r is minus 2, then a must equal 6 over minus 2, which is minus 3. So we know r and a. So to find the tenth term, this is a ten, we do a times r to the power of n minus 1, which is 10, so 10 minus 1 is 9. So on our calculator, we do minus 3 times by bracket, minus 2, to the power of 9, which becomes 1, 5, 3, 6. So 1, 5, 3, 6 is the tenth term. In part 2, we're asked for an expression for the sum of the first n terms. Now we know the sum is a r to the n minus 1 all over r minus 1. So the sum of the first n terms is a minus 2 to the power of n minus 1, put brackets there, all over r, which is minus 2, take away 1, which is minus 3, bracket, minus 2 to the power of n, minus 1, all over minus 2, take 1, is minus 3. The minus 3s cancel out, and we're left with minus 2 to the power of n, take away 1. And that is a formula or an expression for the sum of the first n terms.